My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking, uh, oh, we're answering a question. So the question was, oh yes, why is UTS a lot higher than yield? I don't get it. So when you look at a stress strain diagram, we're talking about bolts, stretch and stuff like that. I was saying that a common graph looks like this. So you'll come up here, it'll go bang like this a lot of the time, depends what the material is. Then it'll go up, then it'll do this, and then it'll die. So that's fracture, that's ultimate failure. This bit here is your yield, and then up right up here, that line, this top peak point here, is your UTS. That's your ultimate tensile strength. And he was like, why is this higher than the yield? Cool. Because, and I'll go and get one, Because that there has yielded to the point <laughs> where it's gone 180 on itself. This is just a rod of copper and that has plastically deformed. So, fuck it, I'm not undoing that. No, it's not happening. But um, we have this yield point. This is the Young's modulus. Basically, you do this kind of rubbish. And we're not going to go into that just yet. Um, it's the gradient of the line, basically. But this is your elastic bit. And like I say, this is when plastics are great for it. They'll elastically bend. In a sense... Have I got anything to demonstrate that really well? Right, we're bending it, and it bends back. Now, when we bend it so much like this, such a tight radius, such a tight radius like that, that is now plastically deformed, right? We've gone from this, which is elastic deformation, to that. That is now plastically deformed. That is yielding, right? That is this point. We have basically come to the point where the structure, the atomic structure, can bend and then it can flex back. It can bend and then it can flex back. If we go too far, what happens is you get, in a sense, slip that the structure inside, instead of just bending over, it basically goes, eh, and now it's reformed, right? That's your yield point, that's plastic deformation. It now won't return to its original shape. And it is now that shape for good. And you'll notice when you try and straighten something that's yielded, it's a massive pain in the ass. You know what I mean? It's a trying to bend something back straight and get it perfect again the way it was. It's pretty much impossible because what you're trying to do now is you now got something that was, in a sense, it's like it's an original bend and you're trying to straighten that out so it's going to buckle and weave in other places. doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means it's very difficult to do that because you've now plastically deformed it. So, in a sense, you can think of your atomic structure like a ladder and all these little points here have atoms on and then once you've bent it in a sense these atoms are like this now so if you could separate that you've now got a rhombus instead of a square so there'll become a point and that's the yield point where it just goes uh, and it collapses over and then she's stuck that way she's now stuck this way you know what I mean? And it's all to do with the interaction between the bonds. They're all happy like this. And now they're now they're now in a triangulation shape. And they're happy like that. It's a state change. They basically are now this is a it's when when you've got when we when you've got a square crystalline structure like this, a cubic structure, you can bend it, but it's you need to, the force is required to hold it like that. So when you let go of it the atoms go back to their lowest energy state this is a low energy state but there is a point when you go so far that now this is now the next energy state it's almost like um a ratchet if you think about it like that it's like a ratchet where you can have teeth on a ramp now you can roll this ramp up here you know you can roll this whatever it is a paw or anything of like a, a sprag clutch or anything you can roll it up here 
and then as soon as you let go it'll roll back down it'll basically go back and that's that's the elastic range then it can tip over here and it'll sit in this lower energy state here now she's stuck she's now moved along and now she's stuck that's plastic deformation now that doesn't mean the material's completely fucked the material is still in um the material is still locked together it's still a solid we've gone from this um plastic we've gone from this elastic range to this plastic range so if we go back to that ratchet kind of thing like this we've pushed it over this hill and she's fallen into here right now our other atom is here so we're either here here it's getting a bit weak and then we're here again and this is why you can see the stress and strain drop you'll see that little drop that little drop down is because this at the our yield point these atoms are getting you know they're basically they're dropping off their sphere of influence is dropping off and then they drop into this lower energy state and we're all back good and gravy but if we go all the way up to here and this is our UTS once we drop down off this we're too far away we're too out of our sphere of influence is that's it, it's broken it snaps and if you push it any further out of that sphere of influence she's just hanging on there after that it all turns to shit any road oh that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit